So Travis, now the second of the social competencies and the fourth of our, of our EQ competencies, relationship management. What can we do to improve there? Well, the thing we discussed previously was this whole idea that relationship management is about putting the good of the relationship first. That you always have your eye on that. That you aren't getting mired by things like you know, winning the battle to lose the war because you're trying to win the war. A very big technique that a lot of people can utilize is only getting mad on purpose. So the idea is you have strong emotions, you're going to feel them, there's going to be times that act on them, but you need to do that with intent. You need to know that your action is actually furthering the quality of the relationship. So if you're getting mad, if I'm getting mad for me, I'm not doing that for the good of the relationship. If me expressing my anger or my frustration is actually going to serve the relationship, if I can find that situation, that's when I should be able to express it. So you're not supposed to live, you know, we're not asking you to live in a vacuum to be an effective relationship manager or to sort of be neutered, you know, this sort of unemotional person. It's about being someone who is aware of how their, their emotions impact the quality of the relationship and acting on that. Another one that I was fascinated by was explain your decisions, don't just make them. Could you talk about that a little bit? Well, the idea here is once we make a decision, particularly one that may not be perceived favorably, it's easy to assume that, well, you don't want to become mired in it. You think that it's not going to help the relationship, it's better to move on. But people feel respected and valued when you take the time to thoroughly explain the decision what factors came into play, what the limitations were, why you couldn't necessarily achieve what or, 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 or choose what they wanted you to choose. And it's uh, a bit counterintuitive, but actually taking the time to thoroughly explain the decisions you make and not just make them is something that greatly improves the quality of relationships. And this is one of those things where if you're focused on the greater good, you can learn to understand this and actually enact that to improve the quality of your, uh, your relationships. And finally, and somewhat along the same lines, it's tackle a tough conversation. And what I think you're saying there is, is don't let those situations fester. Go ahead and, and deal with those tough conversations as they come up. Yeah, and, and be proactive and go about it the right way. You know, a lot of people are um, curmudgeons under the guise of assertiveness. So they think they're being assertive, but they're really using it as an excuse to be, um, you know, a big pain for everybody else. If you tackle, if you actively tackle a tough conversation for the good of the relationship, that means you're going to go into it and talk about issues that really might make you uncomfortable. And because you know that resolving the issue is going to further the quality of the relationship. So a lot of times relationship management comes down to biting the bullet because you know that in the long run it's going to create a higher quality relationship and one that's going to get results for you and your organization. I, you know, I love the central theme here. Every time I'm considering what I'm going to say, or in fact, even how I'm going to feel, the question to ask is, is this adding value to the relationship? Is this furthering the relationship? Is this making the relationship better? And that's a pretty powerful question to ask. Yeah, that should be your guiding principle when it comes to improving relationship management. If you ask yourself that question every time before you act, you're going to be a far more effective relationship manager.